Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Legend 4 and 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is creating LODs and using them inside of Unreal Engine 4 and 5. So what we're going to do today is you'll notice that we have these rocks over here, very low detail. As I get closer, the detail of them is going to increase until we get all the way up and it will be the full level of detail here. Now obviously I've only got three different LODs here, but you can have as many different ones as you want. And I've got them going at this screen size, so this distance, but again, you can customize this to be whatever you want as well and it doesn't have to be rocks and it doesn't have to be this amount of detail changing each time you can do this however you want once again very easy to customize so this is what we'll be going over and creating today so a tiny bit about LODs if you don't know what they are is it stands for level of detail and it's simply that is it is the level of detail in the asset which we see so this is the lowest LOD if we go closer it goes into more detail until we get the full detail there and the reason we do this is to make our games run a lot better because if the player is going to be all the way over here, we don't need to have a full detail because you'll notice these look perfectly fine for rocks. And then as we get closer, we have more detail so they look a lot nicer. But you don't need to be able to see it like that when you're all the way over here, especially if there's going to be other foliage blocking it. Now obviously from this distance, you might want it at the full level of detail. The only reason I've got it going at the distances I do is just for the purpose of the tutorial. But again, that's why we have it just to make our games run nice and efficiently. So it's always good knowledge to have and also implement into your game. So this is what we're going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this and I'll show you how I've done it. So what you need to do first is you need to actually import your asset, which you're going to be using, which I've just done here. You import it the same way you normally would. And now we have our static mesh here, if we put on the current monitor. We have our static mesh that we have here looking perfect. Now what we need is we do also need to have LODs already created for this. Now if you've not got that, don't worry, I'll go over how I created mine as I didn't get them with this asset but I did create some myself. So what I did was I imported this and opened it up inside of Blender or any other 3D modeling software and I created the LODs in here. So notice I have my asset here, I've already exported this one and I've got this as my base asset. Then in Blender what I did was I went to the modifiers and got to the decimate modifier and I just decreased this ratio to decrease the amount of detail we have here. Now this might not be the best way of doing it, I don't know, I'm not really a modeler, I don't use Blender too much. But I know this is a good way of doing it however and it does work perfectly for what I want to be doing. So we can add the decimate and just decrease the ratio here to decrease the level of detail and then file and export here and you can do this as many times as you want and to as much detail as you want as well. I've already got my two which I'm going to be using exported and I'm going to be reusing those once again as you saw at the beginning of the video but you'll want to just make sure you get this done and exported. Once you've done that you don't need to import them into Unreal what we're going to do instead is just open up our asset which we have already imported which for me was the rock here so we'll double click that to open it up now if you go on the right details panel we can scroll down until we find all the LOD stuff down here so we have LOD picker, LOD zero, LOD settings now every asset you have will come with one LOD by default and that is LOD zero and you'll notice that down here it says number of LODs one and that is just the base asset which we have here like so but what we want to do is obviously import more. So under LOD settings, we have LOD import. We're going to press LOD zero and then import LOD level one. And then what we can do is it's already opened up for me in the right place because of where I got it earlier. But you'll want to go to where you exported your LODs from Blender or whatever software you just used a second ago. So I've got rock LOD one. I'm going to double click to import that here. You'll notice no smoothing group. You don't need to worry about that. And it's now imported here. You'll notice we now have this LOD perfectly on our rock like so. Then we can do LOD import and import LOD level two and I'll do that again. And you just do this for as many different LODs as you have for the assets you are using. Again, I've only got three, so that's LOD zero with one by default and one and two. And you'll notice that's already automatically updated our number of LODs down here to three. Now, if you want to preview what these are gonna look like, what you can do is go up to LOD picker and where it's got LOD, change from LOD auto to LOD zero, one, and two, all the different ones which you have here to see what they're going to look like. And this is now perfectly done and set up for us. If we save it, what we can do is drag this into our level and you'll notice as we get further away and closer to it, it's already automatically going to be choosing the LEDs for us. However, this isn't really how I want it because you'll notice it's going to have really bad detail until we get really close to it, which is not what I want at all. So what we're going to do is open it back up and you'll notice under the LED settings, we have auto compute LED distances. I'm going to untick that as I want to do it manually myself. 
So the way LODs are calculated in real is it's not based upon distance, it's based upon screen size. So up here under LOD picker, we're again going to change it from auto to LOD 1. And you'll notice underneath this it was LOD 0, but it's now LOD 1, so we're going to be changing around the settings for this. You can change around all the different things here if you wanted, so you can change the material, you can change other things like all of this here. I'm not going to get into that at all because that's not what we're doing here. But what we could do is you can also remove it there as you can see. But again, I said it's based upon screen size. So you notice at the moment the rock has to take up 0.75 of our screen, which is 75% of our screen. So if the screen size is 75%, then it's going to activate LED 1. So as we get closer, you'll notice it's going to change there, although sorry, it didn't change. If I go to LED Auto, you'll notice it will change there like so. If I go back to 1, what we want to do is I don't want it to be 75%. And you can see in the top left, we have the current screen size. I'm going to go out to here, and let's say I want it to be activated here. And that is about 43%. So I'm going to put the screen size as 0.4, so 40% of the screen. Then I'm going to go to LED 2 and go even further out, and that is 0.39 screen size. I want it to be 0.25. So when the rock is taking up 25% of our screen or less, it's going to be LED 2. So let's go to, back to auto. So you notice 25% or less is LED 2. When we go forward a bit, it's going to be LED 1, which again you'll notice is updating in the top left, until we get to 40% or more, to which it then goes to LED 0, our full size, our full level of detail. So this is how you can change it about like this. It works really well, it's very efficient, and it's very nice and easy for us to use. And obviously if you want to then just go back to auto, you can click auto compute LEDs like that. But again, I don't find that works too well. Obviously that's probably just because of the amount of LEDs I have. If you had even more, you can go into more detail too. But again, because of the way I've got it set up, this is how I'm doing it. So I'll save and close that, and we can see this working in our level. So if I were to move this all the way back here, and then I'm going to duplicate this so I can have two, so I can get both angles, both sides of it. What we'll notice is when we're here, let me also just move these over a bit, it's going to be the full detail. And as I go further out, actually, did I leave that on LED auto compute? No, I didn't, but it looks like it might have reset. If I go back to one, yeah, it's reset to 75. Okay, I don't know why it's done that, but I remember the values I used. I did 40% and 25% there. Not sure why it reset, but if you have an issue, that might be what just happened. But now you notice it's the full size, and as I go further out, we have less level of detail, and then even less once again, working perfectly like so. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've set up LODs inside of our game, so we can have these rock assets changing the amount of level of detail they have, based upon the distance we're from them, or the screen size, or the amount of size they take up on our screen, so our game is going to run nice and efficiently because obviously it has less to load in, it's got less polys to load. And again, you can change the material as well, so that's also less detailed too. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.